This has been fascinating for a lot of people, right? Talk to me about the revenue as it can drive from these autonomous vehicles. I know you've rolled out in San Francisco. Uh, what are the numbers that we're looking at here eventually? Well, eventually, we look at, you know, when you can get the cost per mile with autonomous rideshare down below a dollar, you know, you're looking at a, a significant TAM, you know, really unlocking it much larger than it is today. Because today, rideshare, you know, even before um, the pandemic was about 250 to $3 on average a mile. You know, think about it. When you can get below a dollar, that it's, it's you know, it's, it's uh, probably several billion dollar TAM that will have an opportunity. And I'm really um, just impressed and, and pleased with the progress that Cruz has made under Kyle Vogt's leadership uh, from the technology being ready. I mean, you know, I think a couple of years ago, everybody thought, oh, there'll be autonomous vehicles yeah. everywhere. Now they think it's, you know, years away. It's not. It's here right now. We actually got a testimonial from okay. Rene Haas yesterday. He's the CEO of Arm, the chip mm -hmm. architecture yeah. company. I want you to hear what he said about it because he got to go on a test drive. Sure. So let's listen and then I'll get a response. Okay. It started out really cool. Uh, we, we hailed it via the app. The, the car showed up to our location, not at the wrong corner, not at the wrong side of the street, but really within 10 centimeters of where we were. And then off we went. Uh, the car was very safe. It followed all the rules, stayed in its lane, full stop signs, uh, even had an intersection where there was one other car, and that car was also a, a cruise robo-taxi, and they both politely <laughs> waited for one another uh, to cross. So it was it was very, very uh, safe. I felt really at ease, to be honest with you, and I was convinced after that little ride, uh, this, this is the future. You're an engineer, Mary. You have that background. Is this the true way of the future for all travel? I think it's it's very much going to be a big part of how we move from point A to point B going forward because, you know, it's it's safer. And when you look at today, uh, when you look at the, the information of how many people lose their lives, 90% of them are caused by human error. And as he said... The, the vehicle knows all the traffic laws and requirements and follows them. And, and I've had the opportunity to ride in the vehicle multiple times and uh, two times without uh, a, you know, a driver there. And it, you, it's a little bit interesting when you first start off, you're kind of like, whoa, there's no one there. And then a couple minutes in, it's such a confident ride. You feel the safety. Um, I, I really do. I mean, the biggest feedback we get from people once in the, in the vehicle is like, I, I, I'm very comfortable. It's safe. I, I feel like I, I had a better experience.